Okay guys, we're gonna continue with physical and chemical changes. Number one, what is a physical change? Well, just like a physical property, a physical change is going to be a change in matter that does not change the chemical makeup. What does that mean? Well, that means that it's you're going to change the um, the matter itself, but you're not changing it from one substance to another. Okay, and we'll go through some examples of these in a minute. So, what is an example of a chemical change? This should say. Oh, I'm sorry. What is an example of a physical change? Well, an example might be, and we'll we'll do some of these in a minute. But an example might be um, crumpling up some paper. Okay, you change the state, crumpling up paper. Okay, you change the state of the paper, but it's still paper. All right, we didn't it didn't change from paper into something else. All right, so that's just one example. What is a chemical change? It is a change in matter that does change the chemical makeup of it. So it's literally changing from one substance to another. Okay, so it's a change in matter that changes the chemical makeup of the matter or of the substance. Okay, another an example of that would be um, iron rusting. Right, you start with just an iron piece of iron, maybe an iron nail, and it's going to react with the moisture in the air and it's going to result in rust forming on the iron. So the iron is literally changing from iron, combining with some moisture and forming rust. Okay, it's a chemical change. Identify the following as a physical or a chemical change. Blow drying your wet hair. Well, your hair is wet, but it's still your hair. Okay, so after you blow dry it, it's still your hair. It didn't change from hair into something else, so that would be a physical change. Silverware rusting, that's going to be a chemical change. Coiling a straight piece of wire into a spring. All right, so we're just taking a piece of wire that is starts straight, and then you just curl it up. So you're still wire, right? So that's going to be physical. Wood burning, that is actually chemical, okay? It starts off as wood, and it combines with other chemicals, and it literally changes into a different substance, right? Ash. Milk souring, that is also chemical. Cutting an apple is physical, still an apple after we cut it. A nail rusting is gonna be chemical. A candle melting, so I think that they're just referring to the wax, okay, so it's wax before and it's wax after, but it's just in a different state, so we're gonna call that physical. Fireworks exploding, that's going to be chemical. You actually have to have a chemical reaction to make the firework explode, right? Water changing from a liquid to a solid, that is just going to be physical, all right? It's still water, it's just changing state. Baking soda reacts with vinegar, there's the word reacts, so that's going to make it chemical. Iron rusting, we basically already talked about that a couple times, that's going to be chemical. Wood rotting, that is chemical. Water evaporating, that's just a state of a phase change, right? So that's just physical. Food digesting, that's going to be chemical. Water freezing is physical. A balloon bursting, that's physical. It's not changing from a balloon into some other um, substance, it's still a balloon. It's just now a burst balloon. And a marshmallow melting, I think we're going to say that's physical. Anytime something just melts, we're just going to say that's physical. 